Back to school also means back to sports for student athletes. Across the country, doctors are learning more about concussion prevention and treatment so athletes can keep their head in the game. But it is an uphill battle. Concussions in athletes are extremely common. About 3.8 million sports-related concussions take place every year in the United States, and 50% of concussions go unreported. High school football players aren't the only school athletes at risk. Girls soccer and boys ice hockey are among the leading causes. Gabrielle Abdal is your reporter in Adams County and live tonight with new information on how to recover from a hard hit. Gabrielle? Yeah, Alan, it goes a little bit against our normal thinking of concussion recovery, but a new study published this summer says that those who experience a concussion are more likely from their illnesses by getting back to physical and mental activity sooner. And one Thornton teen that I spoke to is a product of that study in action. My vision was so messed up. I was just scared, kind of. It was last August when 16-year-old Jaden Martinez experienced the second concussion of his life, feeling dizzy and sensitive to light after multiple hits during football practice for Flatirons Academy. He continued to play the next day in this game, where the middle linebacker, wearing number 12, reached the end of his drive. I came out of it and I told my mom, I was like, Mom, like, my vision is kind of messed up. Like, I can't really read, like, the stuff on her, like, dashboard in the car. But instead of resting, Martine has opted for a more active approach to recovery. We want you moving, going for a walk, trying to cognitively stress to a sub-symptom threshold. Dr. Brad DeBeer has been working with people like Martinez using brain-stimulating technology and physical activity to treat concussions. According to a new study, light physical activity as soon as 24 to 48 hours after a concussion could improve symptoms much quicker. Doing something that's not going to push yourself to where your symptoms start to get worse and you, you, know, you feel worse afterwards, but not sitting on the couch and doing nothing. Concussion experts with Children's Colorado say this doesn't mean that athletes can return to their sport right away which is really separate and reserved for when you're actually fully recovered. But a little movement of the mind and body can go a long way to getting back in the game. Right now, I feel amazing. I mean, I'm 110%. I'm, I'm going, going into this next baseball season excited. And experts also say that one way to recover from your concussion faster is that as soon as you get one during a game and if someone recognizes it, pull you out of the game sooner because you're more likely to recover a week sooner than if you continue playing in the game. I'm live in Adams County. Gabriella Vidal covering Colorado First. A nice new look. Thanks, Gabriella. Gabriella is your reporter in Adams County. She would love to learn about what's going on in the community. You can visit our website at CBS Colorado to email her or you can leave her a message on our tip line as well.